In this video, we're going to take a look at the on mouse over event and the on mouse out event once again. But we're going to switch it up. We're going to actually swap pictures when the user hovers over a picture. And that's actually one of the most common uses for the on mouse over and on mouse out event. That's one of the most common uses. You've probably been to a website where when you hovered over a particular image, another image was swapped out in its place. So it's kind of a neat effect. Now, I'm going to use the same images that I used from a couple of uh, videos ago. I'm going to use this Lenin image and this Stalin image. But you can use what Whatever images you want you just need two images and they need to be in our folder the same folder as our JavaScript file and our web page so here's our IMG element and of course this is the source attribute which points to the Stalin image and this will be the first image that gets loaded on our web page and we're going to create an ID of image because we want to use our get element by ID to get this and then we're going to use the same two events we did from the last video the on mouse over and the on mouse out and I've created two functions one for the new picture and one for the old picture. The new picture, which will be of course Lenin, will get triggered when the user mouses over Stalin. And then when they mouse off of the new picture, the old picture will be loaded with the on mouse out event. So let's first create our new picture function. So we'll go right here and of course we need the function keyword and we just put in new picture. And of course it is case sensitive. And then of course we need to specify our document object and then of course our get element by ID method and then of course we need to grab the ID which in this case of course is image and then you will remember we need to use the source property that we get from our document object and you will remember that is dot SRC and that of course relates to the source attribute in the HTML element so that's what we're altering and then of course we want this new picture to be Lenin so we will specify Lenin dot jpg and we'll close it out good and whoops okay let's fix that okay so that looks good now of course we need a function for old picture and we can just copy and paste all of this and we'll go over here and we'll switch this to old picture and of course we want the old picture to return back to stalin so we'll just switch this to stalin and then we'll save everything up here and we'll just go ahead and load this up and now let's hover over Stalin and hopefully we get Lenin and we did and now if we mouse off of Lenin we should get Stalin back and we did and again this is one of the main reasons that the on mouse over event is used to swap images just like this okay that is going to do it for this video I will see you guys in the next video where we will introduce a new event